we doing today, everybody? I got a bad video for you. It is a Merc 25 carb rebuild down on the river coming at you live. Why? Because you wanted it. You wanted more of these style hands-on videos. We got it for you. Ready? Here we go now. We're heading down to a boat and that's parked down here at Pettybone Marine. Um, got a carburetor issue. I'm gonna pull the carb off, get it back to the shop, rebuild it. Um, we're doing this kind of stuff because you've requested it, people. So we're gonna do a little bit more filming of this river stuff and this is just gonna be a quick carb off, take it back, rebuild, put carb on, set carbs, away we go. Where are we at down here? Pettybone Marina. South side of La Crosse, actually across the Mississippi. Not yet to Minnesota, per se. That might be Minnesota. I don't know what we consider this. This must be Wisconsin. This is Wisconsin. Are you sure? Yeah. All right. So it's Wisconsin still, which is good. Morning, Matt. How are you? Is our flat right here. Put a different cap on it. Non EPA cap. Yeah, it's still leaking. Look at the settlement in there. Water in there. I guarantee you there's water in this tank. Mm-hmm. 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 I see water. I see lots and lots of water. Five sixteen. I don't know what five sixteen is for. Matt will borrow me one. I'm bringing back. Don't move. Just sit there. Damn it! I forgot my five sixteenths. What'd you have to go get? Ah, uh, five sixteenths. Forgot that. Or it wasn't in my little river box here. That's all right. Blame it on Zach, he's not here no more. Tree, he used it, borrowed it, did whatever. What do you think Zach's doing, Jordan? I don't know. What do you think America thinks Zach's doing? Comment below. Comment below. We're not gonna do that with bass. But, I mean, I can, I can go catch him if you want me to. A little fishing from the bank if you want me to. They want to see me in a boat though. I don't think they care. They don't? They just want to see me go fishing? Yeah. Don't they think I can catch fish or what? It sounds like they don't believe in you. Oh. I mean, I... They just want to see it. I used to really kind of be good at it. I'm not bragging or anything. Comment below if you want me to see to just jerk those gills out of the water or smacking big old bucket mouth. Then there was one. Ooh. Uh, the risk is extremely high. That's why I don't really like doing the work on the water because it seems like it always costs a little bit more, but then that happiness gets carried over. But it, it's not fun replacing tools. Kind of an obstacle not spilling all of the fuel from the carburetor into the river. So there you go, there's your carb. It's going back with us. It's going right in there. Gasket survived, but I 
Alright, put a new one on anyway. Be on the safe side. Just take it off. Take it with. Put that in there. Take this, fold this back up into here so this is out of everybody's way. Make sure fuel stays disconnected. Put this back on here. And that's just going to sit there like this. Bingo. There we go. Good deal. Lickety split. Potato chip. And then... Remind me to bring a bucket down when we come back. Perfect. Not yet, I gotta go through that and then we'll be good. Working on the... Take that back and put it back. Egg. That way you don't lose it? Yep. Carbs off in hand, gotta get back in the truck, get my ass back to the shop, get it rebuilt, get back down here. Yeah. Uh, so we're going back to the shop. We are going to take this carburetor apart, clean it up. Uh, need the new diaphragm in the primer side. We'll put a new primer in it and put it back down. Fire it up. And get a fuel sample. Yeah, Dean has. Like Neil says, everybody thinks they just do YouTube videos. All he does is YouTube videos. Doesn't, have, doesn't do anything. No one else uses this area, people. That's me. Oh. All of this is okay. According to what we had going on. This is our problem over here. <clears throat> This right here. Oh, it's leaking out of here. Tells me that this diaphragm in here is cracked. Needle should get replaced. I'm interested to see what all this looks like. So, that gas was terrible. It smells delicious, doesn't it? What does it mean when the fucking cameraman slash producer says the gas smells terrible? Not that Jordan doesn't know anything about motors, he does know some stuff, for sure, but you, when he can smell bad gas, probably not good. Hey, Brown's here. Yeah, we did not go through this. America, what is that? It's a constant issue. I think I did a video, what, a long time ago about this breakdown of that fuel line. Uh, we see it all the time. Breaks down, gets through the filter, little micro pieces find their way into the carburetor. Boom, that's it, she's done. What is that piece from? Free hat. Dude, who can never tell me what that's all from? Let me put it on here. If you watch my videos, oh, it's gone now, I think. It's disintegrating. Which should give you a help. Oh. Give me some help on what that is. I know the answer. Do I get a free hat? Nope. What's up, Rusty? Put it right on there, buddy. Perfect. There it is. Shot. See them little bubbles? Cracked out right there. Leaking through. Cracked all the way through right there. Neil? Carb kit number for this thing?
Bingo. Right there. Right there. Thank you, buddy. Chad's a little loud. He doesn't, he's not able to do that at home. When he comes back to work, he'll be real loud. I don't know that God had anything to do with you. You got, you got to wiggle your dinks, that's why. The bushing will stay in there. What about Apollo Creed, Neil? He did? He was the man, though. Don't tell me he wasn't. You know as well as I do. He wasn't the man. Yeah, he was. He got his ass kicked. He got punched in the face too much and he died. Well, that means he was taking the beating. Yeah, Rocky took the beating and beat his ass. Sure. That was good. You know it was. Here's my little fella. This little fella goes up in here like this. Show me. Right there. Goes like that. Put the new bushing over the top, little seal scraper, so you don't get no stuff down in there. Rolling into the wide blue yonder. Good job, Katrina. She's on it. All the rest of you were all sucking on your thumbs or licking windows. Katrina was on it. I fully didn't expect Mason to be a part of that, but. You know who I just saw? Sam. Oh, why? Do you think Mercury is excited to come here? Yes. Do you think they are? Yeah. They're excited to be part of the Bass Pro setup in La Crosse, Wisconsin? Mm hmm. Do you think the Mercury Tech will talk to me? Mm, I think we should go try to talk to him anyway. I think the Mercury Tech could talk to you. I think I think I think or they might have your name Yay! and a picture of you at every trailer and it says do not talk to this guy because this guy is an ass. You were just really rude. Why am I an ass? Okay, maybe a dick bit instead of it. What? Let's comment below if you want me to just sit down and have a nice chat with a certified Mercury tech. Yeah, what number's a needle? Remember? What are we doing? Uh, we're looking up for our inlet needle. But uh, 1395 9855 is not where it should be. So it tells me I have to call and see if this gets sent to a new. Oh, let's go to the new program. The parts room's been that way for decades. Simple, simple system. Last two digits of all OEM numbers are always categorized or cataloged that way back there. So let's say we got an Evernerd part that ends in 93, it's gonna be in 93. We got a Honda part that ends in 93, it goes there. Some of them we have dash, we used before the dash for some Japanese stuff just because it goes dash 00099734 dash, yeah, you know what I'm saying, before the first dash, but that is always how it's been. You can categorize every manufacturer all in one box. Find it? Oh yeah, sure looks like it. In, inlet needle, mercury, mercury. Inlet needle. Do do do.
do 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 I gotta remember 516th also, George. 516th is in there. I need a bin to test gas into. I better take this just because you never know. Uh, yeah, perfect. I need a hose clamp though. The bucket is at school. Neil owns the bucket. Found a clip? I did. Jackson's hoarding them. Okay, there we go. Everything we need. A whole lot more. Let's go. Mason, figure out what's for lunch for us. Because is it that time already or no? No. All right. Great day. Carb's built. Time to get back to the water, get the carb on, make sure it's synced, make sure the customer's happy. Be done. All right, give me the update. Update is carburetor's cleaned. Uh, gaskets are repaired. We are now heading back down to the river to put it back in, but we do need diesel somewhere along the line. So we may have to take the long way to get there. It'll be a regular thing. What's the price of diesel? Today? Yeah. 464. How's that make you feel? <laughs> do I have any, any say in it? Do I have any say in it? No. Try not. No, so it doesn't matter. Do you want a car wash? These don't fit in the car wash. I mean, I mean, it is what it is. Is it correct? No. You no. could run for a political office. Could. Would America vote for me? Comment below. <laughs> President Hauser, do I have your vote? Um, I, I have thought of running for politics after I'm out of this industry and just be that person. I think America would do fine with me. I'd start at the state level, probably at the, probably in my township I would start, just to make sure I get my wings stretched out correctly, make my voice heard, and then just kind of move my way up. Just be a thorn, just both sides as I go, you know what I mean? Yeah, whatever. Comment below. 22 gallons, $105. The American way. It's a great day. It's a great day. What a great day. You ever break your pinky toe, Jordan? No. I have. I did it this weekend again. What? Yeah. Not the deal. No, it hurts really bad. This here? Take that out of there so it doesn't end up in the car. I think some good for this feller. You know, times are tough. I take care of these people. Times are tough. It's kind of nice today on a Monday to be working down on the river though. I set this up good for myself to come down here today. Sunny out. I knew you were coming. I knew you wanted some video footage. Or America wanted video footage. Is that fair, Jordan? Both of us. Together? I'm an American, so. You are? I'm in the group. I'm American. When did you turn American? Always been. Oh. Last 33 years. Ha! Great deal. Smooth carburetor. Mm -mm, mm -mm. It's a smooth carburetor. Should have been a song. Carburetor. Now I gotta grab my nuts. It's always good to know where your nuts are at, Jordan. Yep. You don't keep your nuts intact. A lot of bad things go on. A lot of bad stuff. It's good to always start to grab your nuts and spin them when you're putting them on. And as you keep spinning, they get tighter, your nuts do. In this episode here. Snug up your nuts all the time. Make sure your nuts are nice and snug. Then you finish your tightening with your wrench on your nuts. This is 
it's almost turning into like a Saturday Night Live video. Yeah. Fuel quality. Yeah. yeah. It's like therapy. Yeah. Kind of like heat therapy, massage your legs. Yeah. Kind of want to take a nap right here. You do? Yeah. You'd like that? Yeah. A little like, bit. You know, for some reason I can see you doing that. Just kind of face the, down. Yeah, the photography kind of guy, you know? <laughs> Camera laying there. What's he doing? more fun to go boating when your stuff runs. Because it allows you to just enjoy it. Anything satisfied, Jordan? Yep. Anybody could start that one now. All day. All day long. That's gas. That's tools. Make sure the bilge pump is set up so in case it rains, it doesn't end up sinking. That was pretty ingenious, actually. That should be fun. Ready to rock and roll, Jordan. Give me the closing. Can I get to the top here? Sure. Oh, it runs like I figured it would. Carburetor's fixed. Um, gasket kit. Gas test good. It's okay. About a 9 out of 10, maybe. Maybe 8 and a half. Um, runs, shifts, pumps. That's what I want to know. It's all good to go. Yeah, so at the end of the day, we got the car back together, got it on, got the machine running. Um, the quality of the Merc 25 two stroke is probably, in my eyes, the best two stroke ever built. Um, you can literally forget to put oil in them, lock them up, break them free, pour some oil in the cylinders, let them sit, fire them up, and it'll run. It's an amazing, amazing outboard. Um, damn near bulletproof when it comes down to it. Yeah, um, twisting, bending prop shafts, they don't care. They continue to run. I don't know when the last time I saw a gear case fail on them. Um, they always seem to just continue to run. I mean, like I said, you can lock them up. I, we've literally lock, had them locked up on the ground, breaker bar, two guys 
break it free, spin it around, soak it in oil, let it sit 24, 48 hours, put some spark plugs back in it, fire that thing up. It might have a little clickety clack, if you know what I mean. Still runs just as good. It's crazy, 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 crazy outboard. Um, yeah, so that's it. That's my episode. Uh, make sure you go check out new merch. It's like right here, Jordan, correct? How do I do? Right here. Yep, make sure we check out that. Um, that's it. That's the end of this whole video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want more of these videos, comment. Comment, comment, comment. If you want to see some more of these videos, as always, just make sure that, you know, everything is working out in your marine world. And don't forget to vote for Andy for president. What do you think of that? It'd be good. We should get a t-shirt made. My new president. Make the marine world great again. Huh? Yeah. Good deal. We're doing it. All right. Thank you. I'm out. And as always, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell to witness the madness that I hope everybody is soon to say. And if you haven't, they can't buy them no more, can they? You should have bought your Speed Money No Breaks t-shirt. And if you didn't, you're bad. Sorry. Maybe we'll get them back. What do you think? Yep. We'll bring them back. Cool. We're out. See you.